Silo season finale explained. What's up, guys? This is Jim from the Bingetown TV podcast, and I am back to discuss Apple TV Plus's Silo Season 1 finale with you guys. Beware, there are major spoilers for Silo ahead, so please make sure you're caught up before watching this video. If you aren't caught up, hit that subscribe button and save this for after you watch. And of course, please hit that subscribe button if you like our videos so you can stay up to date on all of our future theory videos. This week, Apple TV Plus's number one TV show dropped its bombshell of a season finale. This finale provides us with some of the answers we so desperately wanted, while also setting up a lot of questions for season two. In the season finale of Silo, it is revealed that the world outside is actually uninhabitable and that the blue sky, green grass, birds flying image was the illusion. If you've been listening to our podcast coverage, you know that this has been our theory since early on in the season. Very early on, we caught that the view Allison and George see and the view that Holston sees was actually the same exact clip, and it was noticeable due to the birds flying in V-formation behind the tree. What is so awesome about the show is that the main character, Jules, realized this in the exact same way that many of the viewers who guessed it correctly did. When she sees the birds flying in V-formation, she immediately recognizes similarities to the clip she saw on the hard drive and realizes that what she is seeing is a lie. Many people believe that the illusion of the Earth being habitable was the truth and that the wasteland was false. So why is it the opposite and why did the founder set up this illusion? We're sure we will get way more answers, but the basic answer and working theory here is that the illusion is in place purely for one reason, and that is to get the cleaners to clean. The cameras on the outside of the silo are very important. Why? Because if the camera's view gets blocked and doesn't show the wasteland, then the citizens of the silo will constantly be asking why they can't go outside. As time passes, people will get more and more curious as to why they are stuck in the silo. Curiosity like this could lead to rebellion. The view is their constant reminder that they cannot go outside. With the outside being a death sentence, they only have a few chances to get the cameras cleaned off. And that is when someone is being forced to clean as a punishment or asked to go outside. They can't force them to clean, but if they show them the illusion that everything is fine outside and make them think everything they see on the inside is a lie, they will go and clean the lens to quote-unquote show the people. They then die because it's actually bad out there and the secret of the illusion is safe. Now, I've seen a lot of questions online about the heat tape reveal. Another reveal in the finale is that the heat tape is what actually protected Jules because it safely sealed her suit. Walker came to the rescue by leaving her quarters for the first time in a very, very long time and made sure the heat tape was supplied to the people who fitted Jules' suit without their knowledge. All previous cleaners were given a suit that was taped with ineffective tape, which didn't seal the suit, which then allowed the contaminated air in, which then killed them. Many people have a follow-up question to the heat tape revelation, and that is, if cleaning the camera is so important and the tape actually does protect the people outside, then why doesn't the silo send their own workers out to clean with the heat tape suit and then allow them to return to the silo? Why go through such lengths with a VR headset of a fake sunny day to make the cleaners clean before they die if they can just protect their own workers and send them out to clean? My theory for this is that if the citizens of the silo regularly see a worker go outside to clean in a protective suit and then safely return, they will then want to go outside themselves. They will ask why protective suits aren't provided or supplied to them and why they aren't allowed to go outside. The more they see people go outside and then return safely, the less dangerous the outside actually seems to them. The illusion slash realization that you will die if you take one step outside is very important because the leaders of the silo, a.k.a. Bernard, don't want the citizens to even think that going outside is a possibility. Do you buy my finale explanation? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, like I said before, please hit that subscribe button because many new theory and explanation videos will be coming very soon.